Hey, Max, the yep. GOAT is listening. Tom Brady had this Instagram post yesterday, a picture of a radar gun showing TB12 throwing balls at 61 miles per hour in the caption, He's going to fall off a cliff. You heard that one before? I have. <laughs> All right, here's a little bit of context. Here are some notable quarterbacks and how hard they threw at the combine before entering the NFL. Patrick Mahomes, 60 miles per hour. Baker Mayfield at 61. Carson Wentz at 57. Cam at 56. And Dak at 54. Look at that. So those are some pretty numbers right there. Mm -hmm. Will Kane joining us here in studio now. I, I'm not a mathematician. You're not? No. I know you have an ingenious bar. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys solve math problems there at the ingenious bar, but we solve is, whatever you need. Is 61 higher than 60? Depends what radar gun you're bad. using. I, they so, vary. They hmm. vary up to three to. In four other words, miles an hour. the strongest arm. All right, well, Max, are you are you going to retract your statements no, now? Absolutely not. In fact, um, Mike Tanner had this. Sorry, Tanier had this in um, Bleacher Report in January of this year. If you look into the numbers, for first of all, the eyeball test tells you he's not the same. Secondly, if you look into the numbers, it verifies it. Highest interception total, lowest TD rate since 2013, lowest passer rating since 2014 in a year of record passing. Dinking and dunking compared not just to, you know, uh, well, he always kind of dinking and dunking. No, compared to the last two seasons, he's dinking and dunking. Completion uh, and first down rates on third and four plus down from the last two seasons, down from his career, below league average. This is just what it is. Now, he is playing for two things have conspired to make it look as though he hasn't fallen off a cliff. One, he's playing for the greatest coach who ever lived. And two, and they've compensated with run game, et cetera. And two, they've changed the rules in the NFL where you can't touch the quarterback. So I'll refer you to early in the season, earlier in the season, when Kansas City, who was the linebacker, who had him in his grips, had him in his grasp, let Tom Brady walk into the end zone. That's how the Patriots won. You're not allowed to touch the quarterback anymore, favoring old quarterbacks. Tom Brady's still great under pressure. I never expected that to change. And I don't mean under pressure because those numbers are down too when he's actually facing pressure. But in big situations, he's still Tom Brady. He still has the clutch gene and all those things for sure. But he is much more of a game manager now than he's been at any point since he was a young guy. And by the way, to get a high reading on a radar gun, you can muscle it. That's why quarterbacks at Brady's age are not as accurate down the field anymore. That's why you overthrow receivers, because you're muscling it. What do you think about that? Stephen A., you want me to take this or you want, you want to go? You know, I'll, I'll go first, Will, because I'm not going to be long with this. The Please. fact of the matter is, Max Kellerman, all I have to say about it is this. You did not say there would be a drop-off. You said he would fall off a cliff. That's what Tom Brady is replying to. That's what he's reacting to. Now, you did take back the word bum because you thought it was disrespectful and kids were watching. Fine. But you made the argument. You didn't sit up there and say he wouldn't be the same and leave it at that. You said he would fall off a cliff, which basically meant, you know what? He's not going to be anywhere near what he was. He's going to be a shell of himself and don't even bring Super Bowl championships into the equation. And since you've uttered those words, he's been to a Super Bowl each year. He's won two with two MVPs. Go ahead, Will. Well, I think you stole the thunder there at the end, but it seems to be the only argument that needs to be made. Max, listen to me. I'm talking to you. I've sat across from you for going on three years now. We have a nice rapport. I don't know that I'd call it a friendship, but we definitely have some mutual respect. I know you place a high value on being right. You should be ashamed of yourself, Max. You should sh be very, very ashamed of yourself. You should go home and really give some long thought to this, because what Stephen A said at the end is the end. You made that prediction in 2016, Max. Since that time, Tom Brady has been to three Super Bowls. He has won two. And as Stephen A points out, he's won two Super Bowl MVPs. There's nothing left to discuss. You are the guy. You are our buddy. We all have this buddy. You're sitting around. You're at a party. You're single at the time, so let's make that clear. And there's a beautiful, beautiful woman in the room, and everybody is astounded. And you're over there picking out the smallest of flaws on the Mona Lisa. You are over here looking through stats, doing your best to find things to explain away your take. You're talking about muscling a radar gun. I don't know what you're digging through, but I know what you're having to dig past. You're digging past three Super Bowls. Two wins. It was the lowest scoring Super Bowl in the history of Super Bowls this year. Dig they past it. 
They couldn't get the offense going, and the reason they won is because they have a better coach than the other team. That has protected Tom Brady's fall. Now, Stephen, I understand what you mean about the cliff. I said it would be like this, and it's been more like that. That is true. And I'm here to tell you that has something to do with Tom Brady, of course, and also a lot to do with rules changes. I had no way of predicting at the time that they would change the roughing the passer rules to the point where you can't touch the quarterback. And so that has also preserved him. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.